may be wondering, who am I? Well, I can answer that. My name's Odysseus, one of the best men in the entire Greek universe. But really, why am I so important, you ask? Ugh. Well, I'm the king of Ithaca, duh. Oh, and I saved a couple people with the Trojan Roar. Now, let me tell you a story. A story about me. It all started at the land of the Lotus Eaters. Nom, nom, nom. Next, we took a trip to Cyclops land. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I see a dirty little scum. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go so well. Next, we went to some guy's island. He was important, but I didn't really care. He gave me a bag. It's just your bag. Just don't open it. That would be bad. Of course, we had to hit up the land of cannibals. And if things couldn't get worse, then I got trapped on an island with a super hot woman. Three weeks later. Many months later. One eternity later. End of flashback. Next, we arrived at Circe's Island. She's famously known for turning men into animals. Meow? You can see all kinds. Rabid ones. Fun and playful ones. And whatever this is. Meow. But what about the cows, you ask? The cows? <laughs> you know I like my beef. Odie here. Gotta say, um, cow meat is kind of nice. The only problem was that we weren't supposed to eat it. Um, anyway. Next, we went to the land of the dead in the underworld. And it totally wasn't scary and I totally didn't run away. After that, me and my crew took our ship over to a different land. This land had tons and tons of sirens. And since I'm like super cool, I decided to listen to them because I'm an idiot. I then found me and my crew face to face with the world's most terrifying Scylla. But what was even worse, right next to it, was the Charybdis. Roar. Well, that's the end. We finally returned to Ithaca, and I met my handsome wife again. She's very, very manly. 